Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RF Design Basics. So in this video, I am going to take one source free RLC series circuit and we will solve for the current through the inductor. That means we are going to solve for the current through the inductor IT. For this circuit, first of all, what we need to apply is original position of switch. That means for time minus infinity to zero the position of switch will be at a and exactly at t equal to zero it will switch to b so as soon as it move to b it will become series l c and r so series rlc circuit so what we can do is first of all we'll keep this switch at original position and draw the circuit so when you draw the circuit you will get something like this 50 volt and 10 ohm so what happens this inductor will be short circuited and capacitor will be open circuited although it is already open so this entire section is not in the picture when switch is on so the current flowing through this branch which contains the inductor originally is 5 amps initial that means at i0 plus it will be 5 amps so we can write those initial condition so i0 plus will be 5 amps when this switch is on so we can make that new circuit at t equal to 0 the circuit will become like this so here you have 1 by 9 Faraday capacitor, 5 ohm resistance and 1 Henry inductor. So as soon as the switch is on, so entire voltage was dropped across 10 ohm resistor only. So this 50 volt was dropped across this before switch was on. So there is no voltage drop across this branch initially. That is why the initial voltage across capacitor can be written as 0 volt as there is no drop across this capacitor okay let's try to solve this we have i0 plus v0 plus alpha we can calculate as r by 2l because it's a series rlc and omega naught we can calculate using 1 by root lc so the values will be so 5 divided by 2 into 1 is 2.5 and omega naught is 1 by root lc so we can calculate 1 by root lc as 1 divided by under root 1 henry into 1 by 9 faraday so this gives us 3 so you can see here alpha is less than omega naught this case is under damped under damped and solution of this kind of under damped case will be it equal to e to the power minus alpha t into a1 cos omega dt plus a2 sin omega dt where omega d is given by omega naught square minus alpha square you can calculate this so what we will get omega naught square 3 square minus 2.5 square this value is 1.658 1.658 omega d is 1.658 so here we have got these values alpha is already known so in this expression to find final equation we need to know this a1 and a2 constant for which we are going to apply the initial condition 
so when we apply the initial condition means i0 plus then it will become 5 equal to e to the power minus alpha into 0 then a1 a1 cos 0 plus a2 sin 0 so a2 sin 0 is 0 we have a1 equal to 5 by e 5 by e to the power 0 so 5 it's 5 a1 is 5 so now we can calculate a2 for a2 we have to write expression for di by dt then we can apply the boundary condition so di by dt can be calculated as we already know l di by dt is the voltage across the inductor voltage across the resistor is ir and voltage across the capacitor is already given by v so di by dt is basically minus of ir plus v divided by l so this value can be calculated as minus at uh, t equal to 0 plus we are calculating for t equal to 0 plus so minus immediately after this so current will still flow through this inductor so at t equal to 0 plus means when this switch is connected this side there will not be any current flow this flow through the resistor so I will be zero immediately after this because there was no initial current in this circuit only inductor was having the current but this circuit does not have the current so it will not flow immediately after that that's why this will be zero then plus uh, we have V voltage across this capacitor so voltage across capacitor will remain same whatever is the voltage across the inductor we have which was in fact 0 so this is 0 divided by L so we have 0 di by dt is 0 for initial condition so di by dt dt 0 plus is 0 now let us apply this condition in the differentiation of this it function so it is di by dt of it will be equal to e to the power minus alpha t is there so we can take minus alpha into e to the power minus alpha t do this function that time this will remain constant u dv and v du a1 cos here since we have calculated a1 as 5 we need to calculate a2 okay we'll read write a1 itself as of now cos omega dt plus a2 sin omega dt then for the second case it's plus we'll write this as derivative and this as constant so it will become e to the minus alpha t and derivative of this will become a1 omega d sin omega dt minus then uh, sign differentiation is plus so plus a2 omega dt cos omega dt so this is our expression let's put the initial condition so at t equal to 0 this should be 0 equal to minus alpha t equal to 0 e to the power 0 here t equal to 0 if we put this is 0 only we have a1 cos 0 so cos 0 is 1 then plus e to the power of 0 is uh, 1 then sin so this entire term will be 0 because sin is there for the second term we have 0 plus a2 omega d that's it now we can calculate a1 is 5 
so this we can bring this side so it will become plus 5 alpha equal to this will be a2 omega d so a2 is 5 by 5 alpha by omega d so we have calculated already alpha equal to 2.5 and omega d equal to 1.658 which can be equal to so we have calculated a2 equal to 5 alpha by omega d which is equal to 5 into 2.5 by 1.658 by putting the alpha and omega d value let's see how much is the value 5 into 2.5 divided by 1.658 this is 7.539 this is our a2 so we have got a1 as 5 a2 as 7.539 omega d as 1.658 so we can write the final solution i t equal to 5 e to the power minus alpha t so e to the power minus alpha alpha is 2.5 so minus 2.5 t then a1 a1 is 5 cos 1.658 t then plus a2 a2 is 7.539 sin 1.658 t so this is our solution for underdamped condition. Hope this will help you in understanding the solution. Thank you.